All right, I'm standing here with, who am I standing here with? Larry Anderson. Mr. Anderson, good to meet you. You, you don't have a spare hand, so you don't have to shake mine. <laughs> but uh, question for you, uh, what brought you here today? Why do you want to pay attention to what NH Listens is doing? I'm interested in anything to do with, with uh, whatever they do, their planning of anything. What I'm interested in. Uh, are you concerned about them, or are you glad they're here? I'm glad they're here, and I want to make stuff change. I'm that type of person to make, make things happen. So you feel like by participating in one of these groups, you will be able to effect change on the town, maybe that you wouldn't have otherwise, or it's possible. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm open-minded. I'll put it that way. If I think something's right, I'll go for it. If it's wrong, I'm going to go the other way. Because I, they, they, they have me na nailed in town as a troublemaker because I'm not scared to say what I want to say. If it's right, if it's wrong, I'm going to tell them something. Yeah. Um, how much do you know about the organization? Right now, I don't know that much because I'm new. I've just started. Well, I wouldn't. I've been one meeting. This is the second one. Right. Okay. Well. Uh, so, so you've been to one before. Did you feel like your your concerns were accurately reflected in the report that they they, yes. they made a summary? N not this. Not this type of meeting. It was the actual the the, uh, the uh, Central Regional Planning Commission board. No. The actual board. I was at that. And, and stuff will be. Eventually, I'll get into it more, and I'll know more what's going on, and then I'll be able to give a better opinion. Do you feel like the regional planning commissions are behaving like a sixth level of government, you know, uh, a new level of government, or that they're more facilitor facil facilitory, if I'm saying that right? I think they're more facilitory. I think they're that way to say they, they instigate stuff to get started, and then they try to get it through who conquered to, to get it enacted, so, because I, that's my opinion. Have you ever seen them do anything that reduces the cost of government or the no, size I, of I it? I can't answer that. I see, okay. You haven't seen either yet? Nothing. Yet. An increase or a decrease? Okay. All right. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Larry. I appreciate it. No problem. All right. I mean, I'll give you, in, in, in about a six months or a year, I'll give you a better okay. understanding. All right. I appreciate it. Okay. Looks like participation may be a little on the limited side, as we're already 15 minutes into the uh, scheduled start of the event and I don't see more than about 20 average people coming out to participate. Of course, it looks like a smaller group than it really is because it's such a big room. Where do you want me? <laughs> oh, just go ahead. Yeah. Well, we know each other. Oh, I see. Yes, we do. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, great. Good to see you. Good to see, see you. Hands or something. Some yes, so we're official. very close. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is the greeting process, but yes, a very now know. it looks very staged. Yes, so. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they have someone here to greet people as they come in. Yeah. Do you know if anyone else from Epson is joining us? Tonight? I don't know. Because um, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, 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 we'll get started in just a little bit. Now, they've asked me not to jump from group to group. Uh, and again, I tend to bias towards actually complying with requests of this type, believe it or not, uh, you know, pick, pick one's battles carefully, that sort of thing. Um, so, but I have asked one lady, who, I guess she's uh, kind of opposed to this, this kind of this, this stuff that's going on, uh, I've asked her if she does want her concerns filmed to uh, ask for group C, which is the one that they've put me in, or which I've actually, I, I actually put myself in C, but uh, they don't really want me jumping from group to group, no big deal. Also, I'd like to point out, this is sort of an example of the, the relative power of Facebook. If you schedule a Facebook event, that's how I found out about this. Apparently, hardly anybody that was invited showed up, except for me, but um, I'm here. So that, in a sense, that means thousands of people are here because a lot of people on YouTube will, will be able to see this. Um, so kudos to people who are putting events like this on Facebook for me to see. I wish there were a better calendar regimen than Facebook, but it's what we're stuck with for now. Snack, we're going to start in one minute, but go ahead and take your seat. Oh, my. Second. Um, my name is Mike Tardiff with uh, Central New Hampshire Regional Planning. My job is, uh, I have a very blank lift day tonight to uh, introduce uh, this evening and welcome you all. Thank you for coming out. Uh, we're excited as a staff uh, for, uh, for tonight. We're looking forward to hearing from you all. Uh, you know, part of the public input process for our regional planning process, the Central New Hampshire Plan. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, the Central New Hampshire Regional Planning Commission uh, 
Our offices are in Concord. There's Welcome everyone. My name is Michelle Holchan and I'm with New Hampshire Listens and um, I thank you very much for coming out. We realize that it is a um, it's a sacrifice. It's a big deal to give up a weekday evening uh, to come out and talk about your community and we just want to let you know that we value your time. And we, um, we welcome all of you, all of your thoughts, all of your opinions um, and productive. That's on every single one of us. And the reason New Hampshire Listens was founded um, for years, the reason Cooperative Extension has done this kind of work, is to give people an opportunity to talk in conversations with others, others that they might disagree with, but, uh, but, but be able to have that conversation. So we've all been to the conversations where you're sitting in rows um, and one person speaks at a mic at a time. There's a place for that. This is about having a discussion, about exploring ideas. After tonight, um, if you registered electronically, we have your email. Um, that will also be sent to you. And if for some reason you don't hear from us and you want to, um, get in touch with me at New Hampshire Listens and I'll re-enter your email. And so I want to remind you all of our, our ground rules. First of all, to share airtime. You know, no one person in your group should be talking the whole time. And you should be all getting a chance to, to chime in. And so please speak up. Um, if you feel like that's happening. Yeah. Hi, I'm Molly. I'll be your facilitator tonight. Um, actually, if you're going to film me, can, is it okay if... It, I don't mind being a little further away. I yeah, didn't really mean to sit <laughs> here. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I was know how always, zoomed in you Can are, someone switch places helpful. with me? Can someone switch places with me? She, want, she doesn't want, she doesn't want me filming quite so close. Do you want to sit here? I can, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. I don't mind being filmed. Just. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Thanks. Circumstance. Thank Thanks. you. Make sure that everybody's heard. Um, serve as a reminder to our group agreements, which she went over, um, so we can have a respectful conversation. I'm Alan Hardy. I'm from Boston. I'm the land use coordinator, building inspector, health officer. I always like to learn, so it's just another opportunity to learn. I would be considered an independent journalist, and I'm here to observe and report, see how transparent it is. That group there is still in active mode, but this group here is reading the materials. They've asked us to read some of the eight-page materials that they have. I'm in this group, uh, Group C. Um, this will help us determine how we want to best spend the time for the rest of the conversation as well. But it's a way to get all the information up of what stood out for you. So, focus area one. So, this is the information that starts on page 8 and goes to page 10. And the focus area is who lives in New Hampshire and how are we changing? Aging, migration, and attracting people to live or stay in our state. This Ridley O sponsored by... Convention Yard Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf-peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Convention Yard Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.